Oh, I need a bit of a break. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. I just remembered who was else. It was in this. I didn't mean that as a pun. Uh, with Kurgane before the Space War. You sure you're okay coming here to help me with ma maintenance? Shouldn't you be resting up? You really don't need to overwork yourself. I can take care of this just fine on my own. I'm not saying I don't want you around, mind you. Just worried for your well-being. You need to take care of yourself, you know? Oh. Well. <laughs> well. I wanted to be near you, Kurogane. <laughs> it's hard to say no to that. Better be careful, though. Person could get the wrong idea. Uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, about your drive to work, I mean. B busy, busy, you know. <laughs> anyway, since you're, insi since you're so insistent on sticking around, why don't you get in the cockpit and I'll make some adjustments. Wait, 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 what? Here we go. Oh, God. The night clothes are normally able to run their own maintenance checks using the AI self-check program. But we technicians still need to occasionally come in and double check everything. Or not need, I guess, but should. We may be living in a digital world, but that doesn't mean there ain't no analog work left to do. Care to guess why? Cross checks are essential for safety? Well now, that is the perfect answer. You know your stuff. I'm impressed. It's exactly as you say. We technicians are responsible for ensuring the safety of you pilots. Our efforts help make certain you, <laughs> you all can return from even the most life-threatening situations in one piece. So, the more eyes on the systems, the better. Sure, one check is better than none, but two is better still. The goal is to keep everybody alive so we can continue enjoying our time together just a little bit longer. If you think about it, you could consider each of us to be cogs in the overall machine that keeps this warship running. The commander, the operator, the pilot, and of course, the technician. Every one of us has a part to play. Maintenance checks are an essential, yeah, maintenance checks are an essential part of what I do. I like to run one on you too, if I could. Uh, that came out wrong. <laughs> what I mean is, knowing all your nooks and crannies in and out makes it easier to accommodate you. <laughs> that sounds even worse. Um. No. <clears throat> Moving on. Sure is a nice ship, this night glow, ain't it? Just being inside it gets my juices flowing. I've always loved space. Flying through that world of stars with nothing to tie you down. And dreaming of that all my life. I was able to make that dream come... Uh, halfway true by joining this crew. But the other half of that dream is another story. I'm the warship technician. I don't pilot it, and I have no direct involvement in the field of battle. 
That's why when I designed this here uniform for myself, I made sure it met all the specs for a pilot suit. Just in case. <laughs> Pretty childish, huh? Anyway, that's the maintenance sorted. Let's take a break in the cafeteria, shall we? Um, you know, uh, Bridge, Brandon here, requesting clearance for test flight. And I'd like Kurigane to join me. <laughs> hey! You could at least ask me first! I suppose I could allow you an hour. While you're at it, I want you to patrol for enemies beyond the warship sensor range. If you see so much as a misplaced speck of dust, you're to call it in right away. Remember, you're on duty. Um, uh, Commander, I actually, um... You're operating this test flight as part of your maintenance check, correct? There are no objections on this end. Uh, th th thank you, Commander. And you too, Brandon. Wait here for a sec. I'm going to, I'm going to go change. This uniform is mostly good as is, but I got to make a few adjustments. Reactor output stable. Fly by wire system is operating normally. The minion cannon trigger locked. All systems are green. We're good to move to the catapult. Night Glow 2 is clear for takeoff. Let's get this show on the road! Wow! Oh god, they can see that. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I've always wanted to see it for myself. All up close and personal like this. Hey, tell me, why did you decide to ta take me out here with you? favors to return uh, but I wanted us to enjoy this view together did you well you know I've been kind of wanting that myself I haven't said anything but I've wanted to do this forever now I'm always I'm always able to enjoy myself best whenever I'm with you it's like I can almost completely forget about the war almost Sometimes I find myself imagining what it would have been like if the two of us had met in a time of peace. I imagine us going to school together, hanging out, and enjoying everyday, our everyday lives. But, you know, it's not too late for that. I mean, that's the whole reason we're fighting this war, right? To bring back those peaceful days. So it could still happen. Uh-oh, looks like we're up. We're getting a signal on our radar. There are shadow buggers patrolling the area. They seem to have tightened their security by a lot. Uh, this is Night Glow 2 responding. We discovered a fleet of shadow buggers patrolling the vicinity ahead. I repeat, we discovered a fleet of shadow buggers patrolling the vicinity ahead, requesting immediate instruction. Copy that. The commander says to quickly eradicate the fleet and return to the warship. Over. Roger that. You heard R-19. How do you want to handle this, Brandon? It's not really possible to change seats in these cramped quarters. I guess over the side you can... <clears throat> I'll handle the turrets. Can you continue piloting? We'll work together and wipe them out. Alright, teamwork it is! I'll steer and you operate the guns. Cockpit's got a two-seater mode for a reason, huh? Okay, okay, I can do this! I can do this! Of 
Okay, I'm in control. I really can do this. Releasing safety lock on all weaponry. Routing all gun controls to the rear seat panel. Night Glow 2, ready to engage! of them I guess that means it's over right we won no more hits on the radar the area is now safe for passage over and out Whew. you should be a pilot you're a natural I appreciate your praise but I wouldn't have been able to do a thing without you Things really got tense there for a sec, and here I thought we were just going on a glorified joyride together. <laughs> uh, well, can we stay out here a little longer? What? <laughs> Why would you want to stay out here, Brandon? What? What, what is there to do? In the middle of nowhere, away from all prying eyes. Nobody can see us out here, and we cut the transmission, so the bridge can't hear us either. <laughs> um, you know, I I've been really fond of you since the very beginning. Uh, wait a second! Don't move! Eyes forward, please! Forward! Uh, 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 what was I saying? Oh, right. Ever since you joined our crew, I have been captivated by you. I tried to make myself look cool and dependable like a big brother should be. It really it was really embarrassing, actually, looking back on it. I'm sure the others saw right through me. But I just wanted to form a special bond with you. We two together as one uh, th th that didn't come out quite come out right <laughs> or uh, well maybe it did I didn't entirely mean it that way but I also didn't um, not mean it that way I want to get to know you better and I mean that in every possible way. I want to know your everything. I guess... What I really want to say is... I love you, Brandon. I like both options. <laughs> this is the I can't I knew this would be a character that would just end up growing on me.
Brandon! Brandon! Oh, dang. Oh, he is the character that ended up growing on me, though. 